Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So today I will talk more deeply in detail about Lomnovsky roulette strategy because I got so many questions about this strategy. I got so many questions asked me about the Lomnovsky roulette strategy like how to bet, where to bet, how to choose a strategy because they got like six patterns. So how to choose the pattern, each, which one? So today I will talk about it more deeply, slowly, in detail about it. Alright, let's start. So, the first thing you need to know is this strategy gives you a 86.5% chance to win one chip. And they got a 13.5% chance to lose 8 chips. So basically, this strategy requires you to bid at least 8 chips. At least. So, what they ask you what is the first thing they talk about so the first thing they talk about in this strategy is the best column that you can bet that you can choose in the roulette layout is the second column which is number two five eight eleven fourteen seventeen twenty twenty three twenty six twenty nine thirty two and thirty five so if you would like to bet on the column the two two one you bet on here is the best option and the second one is talk about the roulette strategy Lomnovsky is you choose a low or no zero table because this strategy only apply for the one zero table and there is low chance or no zero on the history board this strategy gonna win the best this strategy gonna work best for you with low or no zero and you have to choose the one zero table not double zero table the next thing to talk about number three is there's all you have to choose the unlikely zone so you have to look on the history board and you think about which zone in a dozen in i mean in dozen that not always come out you may imagine, you know, because when you look on the layout, you have a look. Is it always a big number, always a small number, or always in the middle? So you have to choose. You have to think about which zone, I mean which dozen, that unlikely to be a result. So for example, so this is one of their strategy. So, if you think that the first the first dozen, I mean number 1 to number 12, is unlikely. It's unlikely to win. So you think that, so maybe. So the second one or the third one gonna likely to win, then you use this strategy. But what did what they ask you to do? They ask you to press on here, just in case they come out on this. So what happened? So if the result come maybe for example, if that table is no zero and most of the number that came out from the result is more than 12, like maybe 13, 20, 21, 36, 33, like always a big number, you would use this strategy. But if you see always big number, but sometimes they got the number like on the history board, they got number two, number seven, number 11, you may try this strategy, this pattern. Or if you look on the table on the history board and you see always the big number but number one come up sometime number 12 number one two four five eight nine eleven or twelve is on the history board then you use this strategy you know like if most of the number is the big number but they got some small number then you choose that area the next one if you see on a history board and you see that well the second area, the second dozen from number 13 to 24 is unlikely. It's not always come. Most of them is a small. Like either small, either small number or the big number. Either 1, 2, 3 or 35, 36. Then you shoot this pattern. And if you see something like, you know, number 20 come out sometime, then you choose this one. But if you think that like, okay. You know, number 15, 18 not to come out, number 19, 20 not gonna come out, then you choose this one. And if you think that the last section is unlikely to come out, then you choose this pattern. 
Why? As you can see, you can see. For example, if the number come out number seven, so what happened? You if the number result is come number seven, if you think that okay, is this one unlikely to be the big number, unlikely to be this zone, then you bet like this pattern. And if the result may become uh, number seven, so you lose five chips, and they're gonna pay you six chips. So you get pay six chip and you lose five, then you get profit of one chips. So yes, and also if what happened if you if the result is come out as a big number like for example 29 so what happened you're gonna lose uh seven ships but you're gonna get paid eight ships because this one win corner then you get one ship in profit so this percent you can see the number that are likely to come out is zero no cut not come out 25 so the only chance that lose with this pattern is number zero 25 28 33 and 36 if you think that this five number is not going to come out you use this one or if you think that number 0 27 30 31 34 not going to come out then you choose this pattern so i hope this video help you with your betting strategy and i hope all the best to you thanks for watching and see you next time